are you still trying to decide if ever you want this bag? Well, you know what? Just... You know, I just love minimal stuff. You know, minimal, that is just stupid minimal. Anything that is just stupid minimal and it just makes sense, you use it. That's a good one. You know, I saw this one thing online and I actually bought it too. Uh, where is it? This thing. Sorry I'm being sidetracked a little bit, but yeah, this thing. I mean, th the point is, is just that it's simple. It's minimal, but it makes sense too. This thing is like, a, it's called, what is this called? Snack diff? <laughs> so any of this is not sponsored at all, no? But this is where you can actually pick up some snacks. Well, you can still type on your keyboard, play around with your phone, and you can still snack on some food if you want. So it's just stupid simple. So it's kind of like this bag too. It's simple, it's small, and minimal for one, and I don't think you actually need to bring that much stuff in your camera bag. <laughs> That's from what I know, from what I experienced, but yeah. I mean, it has a 400D external shell. And oh my God, it keeps your gear really dry and safe. Dry and safe. Well, this is the version two. And I did recently go to this place where it's really snowy and everything else with weather conditions. And this is weather or not. This is the bag that I actually brought. And it did a very good job protecting my gear. I mean, for weather conditions, for rain, snow, this can keep it protected. But of course, for drops or anything like that, I don't know. Because I know, even though it is padded very much inside to protect your stuff, but I mean, for drops, if you just drop your bag, I don't know. So it does have the flex fold dividers, the internal stretch pockets, all of that extra pockets for you to need for batteries or memory cards or anything else like that. It has it for you. And this is the three liter, which is in my opinion, good enough size for me. I mean, it doesn't look like a camera bag, does it? So you can actually use it for whatever you want or whatever you need throughout your daily commute, daily out there? I wonder what's out there. You know, for the external dimensions, I mean, this bag has been out for a while now, for a year, a year and a half. But for the external dimensions, just in case that you need it, boop, on the screen. Hope I'm not going through any kind of font or anything like that, but yeah. You know, I've always jumped around between different kinds of camera bags and I own quite a few and this is actually the one that i would actually want to bring most of the time because it's less hassle i mean you can bring a lot of things in your backpack or camera bag a duffel bag or any of that but and it's great to have all that gear bringing with you at all times but this i think it's just more minimal makes more sense so this is the one that i've used the most why because it's minimal. You wouldn't have to carry a massive bag all around you. Because, you know, for now these days, I mean, content's all that matters. And sometimes, just sometimes, the gear matters. I mean, if you look at it in a different perspective, I mean, gear does matter, but less gear, it kind of balances out. I don't know. Just to make everything minimal, easier access, easier to get all these things, smaller the bag, the better. I mean, you can still use this, the big, huge bags and everything else that you can carry on. But I think, you know, like bags have their own special kind of use for each kind of scenario or position that you're at with uh, all of your gear. I mean, if I were to bring my game, my camera cube, I mean, that's where I keep my drone. If I bring like a bigger kind of backpack for all the camera gear, I'd bring all of the possible gear that I could bring. <laughs> if I have like a bigger project or anything like that. Anything that's quick and simple and just to quickly grab it on the go, this sling could be the one for you. I mean, of course it has the handle on the top. The shell feels great, even in the water. Has a waterproof, has the leak proof zippers, of course. You know, these quick straps, quick adjusters are pretty sleek. Pretty cool. 
because every time you would wear it and then you'd easily and then you want to grab your camera really quickly you'd use these quick straps and lock it into place and there you go so now you have a sling I mean I get it I mean you can't put so much into this bag I mean I can fit my FX3 with this lens right here with a microphone and that's all about it <laughs> Of course, all of the extra accessories that I can bring, like extra batteries, extra cards. I can actually fit a Gorilla Pod. I have a Gorilla Pod that is a 5K, and I can strap it into the bottom, which has looping straps right there. And you can use that to dangle up your tripod or Gorilla Pod, whichever you use. I like this bag. It's awesome. I like it. So, are you thinking about getting it too? I mean, I think you should. It's very minimal. I don't have to bring anything else except for my camera. That is on a tripod right now. It's not even in my bag, but it works. Minimal. Yeah, right? Forgot my skateboard. So, get it. And oh, and b before you do head over to Peak Design, uh, m might as well, you know, hit that subscribe button, please. And the like, and make a comment. See what you think, or what are your thoughts about it. <laughs> Catch you guys in the next video, okay? Bye.